Let's speak about uh, an equally beautiful sport in the name of beach volleyball with someone who forms an integral part as far as the sport is concerned. It's been pushing for its growth and development in Kenya since its introduction and we've had, you know, Kenyan beach volleyballers representing the country during Tokyo Olympics Commonwealth as well as World Championships in Italy in June last year. Moses Mude is joining us who is the commission chairman to uh, share his insights regarding the sport. Good to see you, bro. How are you doing, man? I'm happy to be here again, again. Uh, I'm tough. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm not close to line. <laughs> and good to see you. So, 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 so uh, what has been happening I'm behind happy. the scenes? You, you, you're still looking very young. I don't know what you're eating. <laughs> you're clear, I think, I think we're eating, not we're eating, we're eating Indomie. Indomie. <laughs> <laughs> and the sweet potato. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, we are back on it, and uh, it's unfortunate that we have not finished our season. Yeah. Our season ends on uh, 18th, 19th of this month in uh, Big Tree Hotel in Mombasa, where we shall have uh, the last uh, mm, uh, leg of uh, homologated beach tour. I hope you can still remember that. So, <laughs> yeah, homologated yeah. beach, beach tour. tour. Yeah. This will be in Mombasa, and uh, we have uh, postponed the other activities to pave way for mm. the athletes to participate in that one. And uh, though we have uh, our leg on, I mean, uh, our convection of volleyball on 11, 12, but 18 and 19 has been reserved for that homologated beach tour in Mombasa, which will be the last one in the calendar of the year uh, 2022. Remember, we normally get our calendar from uh, uh, CAVB, yes, where yes. we are guided by the, um, the fixtures over the CAVB. And anytime we draw our fixtures, they are recognized from uh, Switzerland, and we go, uh, I mean, by the, uh, the in indicated information. Mm -hmm. So all these that are in encapsulated in that fixture, we follow them to the letter. And that is what we've been doing. And you st still going you started in my home county, Homa Bay. Oh, I think that's where well, you well, started I mean, from. I didn't know we have virgin uh, uh, yeah. beaches yes. in uh, Homa, Homa Bay. Bay. We were able to go to Ngode <laughs> Island, yes. to Mfangano. <laughs> we went to Rusinga, Rusinga. Island. Yeah. And uh, the other side, we were at Bita yes. uh, Hotel, where yes. we did set up uh, a court. Yes. Then we went to the other I mean, the island, we set mm -hmm. up another one. Yeah. And it's a very nice uh, region mm -hmm. with a very nice sand. Mm -hmm. The sand is not mm -hmm. as white as those one of a white sand, yes. but uh, it is a special, I mean, in its own Lake way. sand. Yes. Yeah. We want to thank uh, the outgoing governor of uh, Homer Bay who did us uh, proud because he's one actually who sponsored. Yes. And uh, the effort of uh, Odudo, the chairman, John Makodundo, yes. uh, did us a uh, lot. And the teachers in that area, including mm -hmm. the, the games teachers and the principals who mm -hmm. did um, come and um, they were able to see whatever mm -hmm. was happening. Quite uh, a number of teams came yeah. uh, from far and wide. So I want to say thank you for yeah. home of the people. <laughs> and that they gave me a new name. Yes. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I will not say it here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, they were just telling me, I heard it, But generally, the, res the reception of no, the sport has been overwhelming. Nice People are embracing it. Very, very, I mean, they are, keep, I mean, they are moving like a uh, fire in Hamilton. Yes. They just want to hear beach volleyball, and yeah. they are there like yesterday. Mm -hmm. I told you that we've been able to establish about uh, six courts in uh, um, Nyandaro. Yes. And uh, the teachers have already started utilizing yeah. those uh, courts. In fact, the team that qualified yes. for nationals in Nakuru mm -hmm. uh, is a team from uh, Nyandaro called Kamba mm -hmm. High School. Yes. Because those kids normally train in the sun. Yes. And when they trans uh, uh, move to the convection of volleyball, they become hardy. Yes. I'll tell you one, that uh, Veronica Diambo, Yes, was one of the best beach, uh, beach volleyballers, mm -hmm. and also convection of beach volleyball. I mean, uh, convection of beach volleyball. Yeah. So when she combined the two, the guys from Turkey could not resist her. She's yeah. now a professional volleyballer in Turkey. Yes. Wow. What can we do to make sure that you know this is a sport uh, of national outlook? Outlook. Can we can we improvise beaches? We have in several started, parts of the country uh, because you know beaches are associated with yeah, being. I want at, to agree with you yeah. that uh, one thing that will help us is to make this game go to the people. Accessible. Just like, yes, just like we have done it in uh, Homabi. Yes. Now that those codes are being utilized, mm -hmm. the codes that we have in Makueni that we did establish yes. the other day are being utilized. 
Those ones in Nyandaro, they're being utilized. Mm -hmm. In the southern part of Little Kana, the beaches are being utilized. Mm -hmm. The moment we just tell people, play mm -hmm. using the, 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 the local sand that we have, provided they are not shingles, they are not debris that can hurt the, the leg, yes. they'll be good to go. People don't know that uh, it has been a journey since uh, 2011 to it now. Has been a journey. How, how has it been? I want to say that uh, I cannot also claim to be the pioneer yes. of uh, the beach volleyball. Yeah. One lady by the name uh, Patricia, the late Patricia, started this game uh, together with uh, some other members. And uh, may her soul rest in peace. She died last year. Yeah. But we were able to see her uh, in her deathbed, and uh, may God, uh, as I've said, rest her peace. In, I mean, her uh, internal peace. Yes. Uh, Patricia started it very well in 1997, mm -hmm. picked up, then went down. Yes. And uh, you can remember the likes of the Gadogo family yes. mm -hmm. playing at Asprach. But then after it died, we came in with the Moringe, with the uh, Oino, yes. and um, uh, Rotich of this world. We said yes, now that we have a commission. Why can't we uh, restart the whole thing? We did in mm. 2011. Yes. And what we decided, we decided let's carry the sand from Machakos. Mm -hmm. Put it in Nyayo Stadium. Yes. Created two courts, artificial one, mm -hmm. with the polythene people at the, bo at the bottom, because uh, that is a, a hardball court. Yeah. Yes. Did whatever we did, supported by uh, the Mount Kenya Safari Club, yes. supported by um, the Michuki Hotel. Mm -hmm. That is, I'm um, forgetting the name, uh, Windsor. Windsor. Uh, mm -hmm. The girls who won during that time were given vouchers to use mm -hmm. those hotels. Yes. And some of them ended up in the Olympics, like yeah. Condensia mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And that has got to be the major achievement, Tokyo Olympics. Oh, that's what we're not even talking about it. Because, uh, I think God that was that. That is a nice thing. It was a major one. Yeah. I don't think it was easy. Yes. Because we are dealing with the president of uh, CAVB, <laughs> Madame Bushra. Yes. She was hosting us in a town called Al Gadil, about 600 kilometers from Rabat, yeah. the headquarters. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, the, her team, very nice. Mm -hmm. Egyptian team is also very strong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Egypt has uh, one advantage it has a double coastline. Uh -huh, the Mediterranean yes. side yeah. and uh, the Red Sea. Yes. So we have very many of them training, and mm -hmm. uh, they have been doing it. Since, remember the civilization even started where? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, we may not go into those details. <laughs> and so, they are always ahead of us. Yes. But God was with us in al Gadim because uh, we were able to hit all of them. Yeah. And I want to say, at this point in time, uh, one of the strong team was hit by COVID, that is Egypt. Yes. And uh, Tukapitia Katikati <laughs> Kamara. <laughs> so it was positive in this case. <laughs> yes, the rest of this way. Tulifika. Now, now what, what are the requirements for someone who has an interest in beach volleyball? Because uh, uh, what, the, what are its specifications? Is there is no, I mean, uh, outer ring that is formed against anybody finding his way into beach volleyball. It's yes. open it to everyone. It is open to everyone. And if you are a good volleyballer, you can also play beach volleyball. If you look at uh, what has happened in the far past, yes. even that 2011, our girls who won in um, in Maputo, the <laughs> Dasaba and uh, yes. Indakala, yes. they yes. were seasoned convection of volleyballers. Mm -hmm. But now we want to see whether we can start from the scratch. Yes. And we have started with a very good team called Soin in uh, Nandi, mm -hmm. where the young ones started touching the mchanga in primary oh. school. Yes. And right now, we are following them in a school in Bomet. Mm -hmm. And what we did, when we had a junior championship in Tanzania, we decided to talk to the principal and the director of education. Mm -hmm. We took those young ones up to uh, Dar es Salaam. Yes. And they played very well. So they have started touching the ground yeah. when they are in that state. You can imagine what will happen in 2028. As a professional trained yes. teacher, yes. you've got to be happy that you include this as a school program, yeah. grassroots campaign, and everything. We have touched the nerve. Yes. And as we are talking right now, yeah. we have prepared a paper to be yeah. taken to the Director of Education, yes. uh, Mr. Nduare. Mm -hmm. The Commission has already aligned itself and we are meeting for a presentation yes. of uh, beach volleyball. Why? Mm -hmm. The three-on-three -three basketball yes. Yes, yes. came yesterday. Yes. We were there the day before. Yeah, yeah. But now they are enrolled in the secondary curriculum. Ah. So we yes. are saying um, we can also have, because 3 on 3 is 3, yes. Yes. beach volleyball is 2, two. so yes. it doesn't cost a lot, 
Yeah. Mchanga can be anywhere in, in a given region. Yeah. Yes. And they uh -huh. can be played just like swimming yes. when we used to go to Kakamega yeah. and they had no swimming pool. Yeah. Yes. Let the readers of Western not hear me. Uh, <laughs> we used to take our athlete to Eldoret uh -huh. to go and swim. Yes. So even this beach volleyball, because it's two two yes. per, uh, per region, yeah. we can ferry them to an area where we have Mchanga. They mm -hmm. play and give the results. Yes. We hope that um, Sandware will listen to us and the whole um, uh, Ministry of Education with our uh, very able peers, Guanaberion, and of course with our seasoned uh, commissioner, who is now our minister, uh, Mr. Honorable Machobu. Yes. So yes. we do that paper under the implicit, I can tell you, 2024, 2028, yes. 2032, we shall be having Kenya go to. The Olympics. Because and we also have very nice uh, coastal uh, strip. Yes. And Schools play as a feeder program to, you know, the national team. I've seen National Olympic Committee of Kenya Secretary General Francis Mutuku saying that, you know, he will work in partnership with Kenya KSSA. Mm -hmm. So probably also seeking to extend I, the same You have show. again um, stated it I mean, uh, very well. Yeah. The secondary school, the primary school are the feeders of uh, these clubs. Yes. If you look at the whole team of Kenya Pipeline, oh. over 85% are from Kwadante. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. Kenya Pipe, I mean, Kenya Commercial Bank, right down, they yeah. in the studio. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the students, they are either half from mm -hmm. Kwadante, from uh, Kesogon, and from Chapter. These are national champions, yes. national yes. champion yes. players. But uh, we do not want to stop there and yeah. claim the glory we mm -hmm. in secondary school. Yes. We want to go down now to the primary school. Uh -huh, yes. And we have one guy called uh, Joseph Biresh who is a very good in training young ones, like the one I've talked about, the Soil. Mm -hmm. yes. Right now, they are playing in Nandi somewhere. Mm -hmm. He is very good in identifying the young one at that stage. Yes. I wish we could have 10, 20 uh, Biresh, mm -hmm. if you can talk of Bireshes, yes. that is English. Mm -hmm. Then we have them bring them to sec secondary school. Mm -hmm. The team of Soweto here in Nairobi relies on uh, the product of uh, Biresh yeah. in, in Nandi. And uh, so we, we start from primary school, if possible, we start from uh, CBC. Yeah. Then uh, we go to the, 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 the lower, whatever, then up to the, that way. Yeah. If you look at Okutoi today, yes. Yes. Okutoi was identified by Coach Joe when she was four years. Yes. And Joe decided to go up with a young girl. Now she's training she's in USA. She is uh, in a uh, under scholarship. And she will start Actually, she joined the school, I think, two days ago. Yes. Yeah, in so, to yeah. answer your question directly, yeah. we need that ladder. Yeah. And I think the Federation should not look at us mm -hmm. as a stumbling block. In mm -hmm. If anything, they should look at us as the main feeders. Yes. Otherwise, those federations cannot exist yeah. without mm -hmm. this secondary yeah. school. Yes. So, structures are very key. Very vital. So the, the big question will be tourism, Beach volleyball. How have uh, they embraced it this, so far? This is one of the sweet things. Blue economy. Uh, yes. This is one thing about, the sweet thing about beach volleyball. Yes. One, you are free to play almost near, uh, let me not say it. That is one. So you don't require the, uh, let me not be accused by the Akorino. You don't need the Akorino attire after yes, the bottom. Yes. You only need like a small whatever and the t-shirt. Yes. And then you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this context here, we are saying the uniform does not cost a lot. Yes. The establishment of beach court can mm -hmm. be done anywhere. Mm -hmm. Two lorries, three lorries are enough, mm -hmm. and then you're good to go. Yeah. Then uh, tourism, as you have said. Yes. Any hotel along the coastal region mm -hmm. that is of uh, a certain whatever, you'll not miss a beach court. Yes. Don't forget that uh, even the minister, when he took over, um, he invited us in um, Chase Bay oh, and Chase we were Bay. able to establish a beach court there. And one advantage on the western side is uh, the sunset. Yes. Now, uh -huh. when yes. you are in those areas, the Dunga Beach and yes. the, the Chase Bay, uh -huh. when you're playing and the sun is just struggling at the horizon, you will, I it mean, it feels beautiful, I'm telling you. The experience so it's is marvelous. Tourism yeah. and uh, very many hotels are mm. embracing this one. We have talked to Ramada Hotel. We have they have their branch in uh, Malindi. Mm -hmm. They want to start like yesterday. Tamarin. They mm -hmm. want to start like yesterday, and uh, it is associated with tourism. Yeah. Yes. 
and uh, uh, for the international championships and probably continental competitions, are there any this particular year that well, you see uh, fronting as, a team? as we are talking, as I'm talking to you, I'm just receiving a fixture from uh, the gentleman in charge of uh, uh, beach volleyball in Nigeria. Yes. And uh, you can see the program that has been given by the world body. And then it has cascaded to the CAVB. Mm -hmm. From the CAVB now, we shall have to look at the seven zones. Yes. The seven zones, which will do the activity between now yes. and, and June. Mm -hmm. And uh, immediately after that, they yeah. will start their program for Olympic 2024. And uh, that will be the major question because uh, we did Tokyo. We are there. We debuted at uh, Tokyo. Now Paris, we have to be there. How do we? How are those preparations? Because the it's just a year away. Has already started with the knock, and sometimes you give devil his due. Yeah. Uh, because they have even at appointed their officers. Maruki, yes. Shadrach yes, Maruki, yes, who yes. is going to be the chief division, yeah. and a very responsible young lady there by name Waji. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. These are responsible Kenyans, and we hope that they are going to form structures and uh, start engaging the federation for the preparation of these teams. Yes. Let's not wait for the seven days that will mm -hmm. be sponsored by the government. Mm -hmm. The earlier we move and have very many homologated tours yes. in all the games, better for us. Mm -hmm. Because that way, even the seven days will just be the, 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 the filing <laughs> of the final panga for the preparation mm -hmm. of uh, slaughtering mm -hmm. those other African countries. Yeah. So to answer your question directly, mm -hmm. uh, plans are underway. And we are embracing every every minute, including the one that you are going to Mombasa right now. Mm -hmm. It is yes. whoever wins there yeah. earns points mm -hmm. for not just all of, uh, African games, uh -huh. but also for Pali 2024. Uh, but one question I've got is uh, when I look at the coaches, I only know Mulinge. Well, that's the big uh, name. But we have are a thousand and one mm -hmm. coaches in this country. Yeah. In fact, I can name names here. In fact, the only thing that we do not have, mm -hmm. we only have one referee. Ah, so, okay, yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. And so uh, there's an avenue for people yes, to come yes, in. Yes, yeah. yes. We had planned for a major course for coaching mm -hmm. and uh, refereeing in this yes. country, uh, we, where we'd have very many of our referees participating. But because of the bad politics, yes, 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 yes. The yes. bad politics of uh, we want to stay in yeah. the office for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's what is actually ailing this game here. And mm -hmm. if you're not very careful, we might be on a free fall. The uh, mm -hmm. area the delegates decide we're supposed to lead them better for us. Yes. And I do not want to go into the internal politics of Kenya Volleyball Federation. Mm -hmm. But yeah. said uh, we must be able to embrace the fixture that we are re receiving from uh, FCADB, from uh, FIVB, mm -hmm. by making sure that we shield the politics mm -hmm. and we embrace yeah. the people participating. And another one I've got to be the marketing strategy because you look at sports. Uh, some I of the want sport to don't say don't, here yeah. that our sponsorship in mm -hmm. Mombasa on mm -hmm. 18th is sponsored by uh, Mentorata, uh, Roto Mentorata Limited, uh, who are the distributors of Deep, Heat, Deep Freeze, uh, name them. Yes. And I want at this point in time to thank the MD of that big company, including Mr. Masharia, the marketing manager, and uh, Madam Naomi for giving us another um, uh, sponsorship for our young ones in Mombasa. Yes, 300,000, and the 300,000 will be utilized properly because part of it is cash award for the winners. Yes. The other bait is for the referees, and the other bait is also for the tent and what have you. Yes. We, we do not touch a coin. Yeah. Yes. We always make sure that uh, the sponsor does get what he has given. Yeah. We have got other companies that might come in, like Coca Cola giving us water. Mm -hmm. We have, we are talking quietly with uh, Red Bull. Uh -huh. And uh, yes. we are also, Energy. yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are also talking to uh, the county government of Mombasa. Yes. We have written to the governor, the new governor of Mombasa. If he sent us the minister to open up the, the activities of the yes. Then we shall invite a number of uh, uh, hotel owners along yes. the coastal strip. Mm -hmm. And we are zeroing in on one gentleman by the name of Shitaka, who was um, the former chairman of that hotel. Tourists, I mean, uh, the tourist owners, yes. I mean, the hotel uh, owners, owners association, association yes. who will also come and see what you're doing so mm. that at least they can embrace that idea. Yeah. You know, Omaro told us one thing yes. a good idea must grow and yield. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And this is what we're looking for. So, in terms mm. of, you know, having a capable athletes to represent the country in beach volleyball, we've had, you know, those who did us proud. 
during Tokyo Olympics? Are we putting in place structures that would transition the young ones into, you know, just, better people at just, the national level? Just like uh, you have said that we as leaders, and we were challenged by the minister, the new minister, that any leader worth his salt has to make sure that he, embr I mean, uh, he brings in other people to take over positions. Yes, yes. Same with uh, volleyball here. I, I like the way Countencia Makoha yeah. and even Braxidis embrace okay. the young ones. In fact, they normally go to train young ones on their own. Wow, good yes. stuff. And, uh, and doing it on pro bono. Time, I, yes, pro bono. At uh, this point in time, I have, to, I have to salute the two girls. They even when we were in Italy for World Championship, mm -hmm. I got shocked that whatever allowance that they got, they went into a sports station in Italy, bought the little beach volleyball. Yes. Came, the the I mean, ball itself. Uh, yeah. Then they had to invest back. Yeah, and in that the is game. the kind of readership that we want in this country. It is not mm. about movement. Yes, it yes. is not about what I put in the pocket. Yeah, it's about what we are able to bring up. Mm. And uh, to me, we have uh, proper leadership in uh, beach volleyball. And uh, I have said I want to thank that team, the team of Moninga, the team of uh, Oino, the Countenance of this world, and uh, Oduri, who has been the captain yeah. of the beach volleyball team. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that uh, one of the best, the two boys that we had in Algadil, yes. they are now professional volleyballers in uh, one, uh, one in Japan, the other one in Egypt. Wow. Yes, and mm. that's what we want to, we are very proud of. From that. this conversation, we'll get a feeling that uh, the future of beach volleyball in Kenya is really very bright. Very bright. That, I can, that one, you can take it to the bank. Yeah. And uh, there will be nothing like bouncing. Mm -hmm. God forbid, I mean, I, I mean God uh, give us a time to live to, to see to what we are talking about. Yes. And we hope whoever also takes up the position of Mbudia for the Beach Volleyball yes. Commission, please try to lift it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's have more of Beach, I mean, of uh, World Championship, more of Olympic, yes. uh, uh, Continental You know, there is nothing as sweet as imagining the best in Africa. Yes, yes, yes. countries yes. Yeah. in the presence of the king of Morocco. It's a big privilege. Uh, it is a very big privilege. And that's why I'm saying thank you, our coaches. Thank you, our athletes. Thank you, our managers. Those who help us uh, oil this engine. Because the pistons for beach volleyball, they are working mm. like uh, that one of Mercedes Benz. <laughs> 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 oh, it's fun uh, to interview uh, Moses <laughs> Budia, one man who has been really advocating for growth of overall football overall volleyball in the country and he has engaged himself beyond volleyball doing other sports like he mentioned swimming as well and talking about you know now the you know outside they call you official opposition because of <laughs> your push for reforms at yes, KVF. Yes, yes. now Not there is KVF, this but the, even knock. Yeah, and, and, or no, and, and, and national sports council and national sports council now, now there is contested for the president of national sports council and out of 24 i got 11. Wow, good yeah, people achievement. listen to me. And yeah. uh, what I want to say, it is not just a position, but now voice of reason. Yes. Yes. Whatever I say, does it hold water? Yeah. Shall we one time be accountable? Whichever government comes, shall we... To what we are yes, doing now. What we are doing mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And as we have said, the future depends on sacrifice made in the past. Yes. Those who have sacrificed for their own pockets, yeah. a time will come and they will be screened by a proper telescope yes. of the day. So it is not about being an opposition. It is just stating the truth. Yes. And sometimes the truth hurts. Yeah. That way. Um, as a chairman of Nairobi branch, we have also engaged uh, a number of sponsors. We hope that the Britam and the Del Monte companies will come in on board and help uh, the Nairobi branch because the games are in Mutar. So we would like yes. also to embrace the Mutar teams and uh, also the senior teams. Uh, not forgetting too that, as we have said, at the other games, uh, having been the secretary of Nairobi Secondary School Sports Association, mm -hmm. we have more than 11 disciplines. The swimming, and uh, remember that Nairobi yeah. managed to take the bulk of the teams in East African games in Arusha. Yes. The I mean, the, the badminton, the table tennis, damn it. And we have also, some of those uh, federations like the table tennis, they have embraced some of us. They have given us the role of uh, development officers. So we are able to establish a number of uh, tables in the in the in, in Nairobi. For example, we've been able to donate tables in Telenana, been able to uh, donate tables in uh, Ushirika Secondary School. They made the opening one in uh, Hospital Hill. We are giving back for the young ones to start because if we are not very careful, Uganda is moving at a very furious pace. Yes, 
and uh, they have very nice youth programs. So we might be sitting back here thinking that uh, we are uh, a giant, yeah. only to realize soon and very soon, the opposite of a giant is what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> Let, let's hold it uh, secretly yes. for us. So, your parting shot, your final submissions regarding the future of the sport and overall ambition of those youngsters and even the legends like Gaudenzia. I want to say this. Now that uh, a new constitution may be nothing, those who are also going to be athletes to be, uh, let's have the likes of Gaudenzia and Black Cities. Mm. And number two, we want to thank our sponsors, continued sponsors, because uh, if um, Kenya Volleyball Federation right now doesn't have money, so if we didn't get uh, the sponsorship from uh, uh, Deep Heat, it would have been very difficult for us to host uh, the last one. And for the program in Africa, we are going to follow it uh, at the letter. We ask the ministry to aid us where we can, particularly the, um, the tours, but we, have, we want to have more of those homologated tours yes. in Kenya. Wow. Let the Ugandans come. come. Let the Rwandese come. And the last Let the Nyerere Cup the come back yes, here at home. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We can also have Kenyatta Cup. Yeah. We can also have Moika. <laughs> yes. Why not? Wow. Yes. It's been a pleasure having you on board. Thank you for coming through and all the very best even as you keep pushing for reforms and overall development of the sport. So this particular year again, we look forward to celebrating like we did at Tokyo Olympics. Uh, you know, we are starting now. We are saying by June we shall have known. Mm -hmm. who is going where. Yes. So even the watches that you have told them, the ball is in your court. We, we are giving the sponsorship, we are looking for the sponsorship, Lakini Lazima and the leader. Mm. Not to worry about it. Yes. Asante sana, Moses Mudia, the chairman yeah. for Kenya uh, Volleyball, Commission. Uh, Beach Volleyball Commission, joining us this particular afternoon to share his insights regarding the sport and the, what the future holds for, you know, the beautiful game that you need attracting a lot of interest from several Kenyans. It's been a pleasure doing this every Saturday from 1 to 3. Uh, continue talking to us even despite the uh, end of the show hashtag touchline Y254 to Sik Maxwell at Osoro Bats. And of course we want to wish you a blessed weekend and a fantastic sporting you know enjoyment. Prunkau. <laughs>